Hey, this is James Cook, and I'm here with... Ryan Severino. And Ryan is my economist buddy. So <laughs> I've heard you say that we are at a massively low unemployment right now. Yes, we and are. And that we've got many more job openings than we've ever had in the past. Absolutely. So how does that affect retailers out there? Retailers would be in a better position if they didn't have to, number one, compete for the labor because employers across the spectrum are now upping the ante in order to attract labor. I think retailers probably had it a little bit easier when the labor market wasn't as tight in order to attract talent. I think they're having a harder time and they've had to compete a little more readily. I think also just from a more macro perspective, being short seven and a half million jobs is seven and a half million people who could be out consuming and spending money in all retail channels. So it, retail would clearly benefit if we could fill those seven and a half million jobs in, in multiple ways. So everybody's asking you all the time when we've been in, a, what, a decade of expansion now? Just about. By the middle of this year, it will be a decade. So everybody wants to know how long does that continue? So Ryan, how long does that continue? <laughs> At least through 2020. Okay, I think, I'm betting on 2020. I think sometime in 2020, it gets a little bit murky peering into the crystal ball. But 19 still feels pretty good to me. Even the first half of 20 feels pretty secure. What's the one thing, you know, we're not all economists like you. So what's like the one thing that I should be paying attention to uh, in, in, in the economy? If we really want to be forward looking, I will say pay attention to the labor market. If there is going to be trouble in the economy, you will see it manifest first in the labor market. Specifically, I would say pay attention to unemployment claims and the unemployment rate. You start to see issues there. It probably means at some point down the road, we're going to have issues reverberating through the economy. There are certainly other metrics I could have cited, but I would say pay attention to the labor market. You generally see disruption in the labor market before you see it in the wider economy, GDP growth, those sort of metrics. Oh, look at the rainbow. Oh, nice. wow. Oh, wow, there's a rainbow. Thank you so much for your time, Ryan. Much you appreciated. You are more than welcome. <laughs>